Hey, just wanted to show you what's going on here. You see that area right there where the bike is? My piano is usually there. I want to show you the dining room. Here's the dining room. It has all of Trevor's stuff when Trevor lived here. Trevor, this is Trevor's room. Jim put my piano in Trevor's room. And then he took all of my items and the piano and he put it in Trevor's room along with all of our family photos. I told Jim this morning that I wanted to sleep in the spare bedroom and this is what Jim did for me. I don't know if he did it out of anger, I don't know if he did it out of love, but I'm just showing you that I'm cleaning up the area a little bit right now and trying to figure out how I'm going to fit a bed. I found a bed on Afara, so they delivered me a twin size bed today. So I was making space for the twin size bed and I have so much stuff in here, clothes and whatnot. So me and Brooklyn brought the bed in, box spring and bed, and I wiped it down just in case I had coronavirus. And now I don't know what I'm going to do with all this stuff, but this is how my Saturday was. And then I put some random pillows in the quilt that I had, and I realized I don't have any space right there. And I don't have any sheets, and I'm going to have to organize this room a little better so that I can fit in here. He even brought all my clothes and put them in the closet. So I went to Walmart today, and I bought myself a bedding set. And I also bought myself a couple of new pillows. And I put my bed together. Put my new sheets on. And it's almost like I'm saying goodbye to my marriage, and it's really hard. Brooklyn helped me. She's been a big support to me. I'm about to get into my bed. getting into my bed for the first time. <laughs> I know it doesn't seem like that big of a deal. living at home with my parents with some futon bed and before that I had a bunk bed and a day bed Joyous at the same time. Like, wow. And 
because it's been such a hard day. It's been a hard day. Dear, I'm so angry. And doing everything in his power to get me to conform, to get me to agree with him, to get me to see it his way. He's done everything imaginable. Except hurt me. He never hurt me. He cleaned out Trevor's room and got it emptied for the most part and he put all my stuff in here. He could have thrown it angrily like Jeremy did when I left Jeremy. Jeremy was very angry and he was throwing my things. Jim was respectful. But he was angry. He was... You could tell he was angry. He was hurting. He, I don't know if he wanted me to stop him or beg him to, you know to let me take it back I don't know what he wanted from me I don't know I don't really care I didn't care what he wanted from me I needed this room for me I needed it and he didn't he didn't understand and he didn't agree and he thought it was BS and he was yelling and hollering and I was trying to be as honest with him as possible this morning about my flaws and what I'm struggling with and taking accountability and I wasn't trying to blame him. I, I was really just trying to be very authentic and myself and he didn't want to hear it because that meant that I was pulling away. I thought I was trying to go talk to guys or go talk to men or cheat on he, he He's so hell-bent on the fact that he thinks that I want somebody else. And I said, my baby-making days are over. I know that when I met Jim, I was so eager to have kids. So I know that I made a lot of stupid choices about guys. And I was in a desperate state of mind. And I may be in a desperate state of mind right now, but it's not to it's not to be like look out for guys. I'm in a desperate state of mind. To speak my truth and to honor my truth. I'm also doing really well, so I just wanted to share with you where I was at. I'm going to watch some Marco Polo's now.